Well, many people putting down the pack of smokes and picked up e-cigarettes instead. But now a push to ban e-cig flavors from the shelves is sparking a heated debate. Researchers with the Food and Drug Administration say there's a surge in underage vaping, and this is dangerous. Fox Carolina's Jennifer Phillips is live in Greenville County for us with what doctors and e-cigarette users are saying about this proposed ban. Hey, Victoria. Well, doctors are saying using these flavored e-cigarettes can be dangerous because right now they just don't have a lot of reports and research that show their long term effects. But they do say there are reports that show right now there are at least 450 cases that show long related illnesses linked to vaping throughout the country. But some e-cigarette users say those devices help save their lives. J.D. Miller used to be a smoker. I smoked for the better part of five years. And now he vapes. I've lost over 60 pounds. Um, my breathing's gotten better. I can taste better. The best thing about it is I don't smell like stink sticks all day. He's also the social media manager for Vapor Lounge in Greenville County and an advocate for using e-cigarettes. Vapor Lounge, you can find e-cig flavors like Cherry Bomb, Code Red, and Skittles. We know what's in them. It's propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, and flavorings plus nicotine. But doctors say studies show vaping can be dangerous, even deadly. And there's been about six deaths recently that have been associated with e-cigarettes. And people aren't really sure what causes the issue. Dr. Trey Chandler is a cardiologist with Prisma Healthcare. Flavoring has an acetate in it that can potentially harm lungs. And so that's a possibility. Also, there's a possibility of heavy metals that are in it. And that's why there's a push by President Donald Trump and the Food and Drug Administration to pull flavored e-cigs off shelves, which contain nicotine. It really is about educating those young kids and young adults. Kelly Wilkins is the executive director with the American Heart Association in Greenville and she's working to stop a proposed state law. Right now, the House of Representatives has passed a, um, a bill that would protect the vaping and cigarette industry. She says e-cig flavors target children and teenagers, and studies show an increase in underage vaping. It shows that one in five teens actually have said that they have used e-cigarettes over the last month. But now, every time J.D. Miller inhales, he says he's relieved He's not taking a puff. They're not killing people. This isn't hurting you. It's flavored air at the end of the day. So doctors say nicotine can also cause heart attacks as well as lung issues and high blood pressure. And there is also a study that shows right now that they can be deadly. So right now the FDA proposal to ban those flavored e-cigarettes, those flavors only applies to nicotine and it excludes tobacco. Victoria. Jen, thank you for that report. It'll be interesting to see what really comes out of all of this. Thank you.